Hello guys, it's your bar Pyrotanic and I'm back with a brand new video, Anniversary Edition video. We're celebrating 65 years of Hanna-Barbera Studios and I just want to give my shout out to Bill Hanna and Joseph Barbera. May they rest in peace. Thank you for your beautiful creation. We will always cherish these amazing cartoons that you have left us with over the past 65 years. Now, the original Hanna-Barbera Animation Studios opened on July the 7th, 1957 and defunct in 2001. It brought us shows like Tom and Jerry, Miguel Gorilla, Scooby-Doo, The Flintstones, Yogi Bear, The Jetsons, Josie and the Pussycats, The Banana Splits, Adam Ant, Secret Squirrel, Ricochet Rabbit, Quick Draw McGraw, and so many others. I remember the first time I started watching Hanna-Barbera, or the first time I seen a Hanna-Barbera show, was in 2005 on Boomerang, the flagship channel for Cartoon Network. And I was watching Wally Gator. And Wally Gator came on after Squidly Diddly. And I forgot what short it was for at the time. I don't know what short it was on for what show at the time but i just want to say thank you for 65 years man and you know back in the 50s and 60s hannah barbera rival rivaled walt disney disney and hannah barbera was going at it in the animation department you know they were the kings of saturday morning cartoons throughout the 50s the 60s the 70s and a little bit of the 80s and then they kind of fell off in the 90s. Speaking of the 90s, the 90s brought a lot of Hanna-Barbera kids shows to TV, including the Tom and Jerry kids, the Flintstone kids, a pup named Scooby-Doo, and Yo Yogi. And it was just so many great shows that throughout the time of Hanna-Barbera being an animation company that they brought to us. You know, they didn't become a brand like Disney. Disney has a theme park has bought ESPN, ABC, Star Wars, Pixar, and all these other companies to become a mega company, right? Like Amazon or Walmart, right? Or Apple. And I just want to say that Hanna-Barbera stayed in their department, which was animation. And I want to shout out Iowa Takamoto. Rest in peace to him. I want to shout out Hoyt Curtin. Who was the great musical composer for so many great shows including top cat adam ant secret squirrel my favorite the banana split show tra la 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 i love that jazzy feel that you get from watching the show i really feel like i'm back in the 50s and 60s watching these shows the rough and ready show man you get snaggle puss Mr. Jinx, Pixie and Dixie, Mr. Jinx, a, a, a spinoff of Tom and Jerry. Uh, it's so many great shows, man. The um, the Bear, what was that Bear show? Uh, he was. It was about Pop. Pop be like, I don't want to. You know, Pop be talking on his breath. He be mad about a lot of stuff, and uh, forgot what that, the the Hillbilly Bears or something like that. And uh, it was a good show. Huckleberry Hound. Uh, man, it's just so many shows, man. Like, dude, it was just amazing how they created so many cartoons with little less technology in that short of time. I mean, goodness gracious, man. They rivaled and they defeated Disney in the animation compartment. Then Disney started coming back because Disney got those movies going see they got them animation movies going like cinderella uh sleeping beauty snow white uh bambi uh all those movies like that they started rolling up back in the 50s and then disney caught on around the 70s and 80s uh, at the time and uh I really think the real life movie of Mary Poppins brought Disney to a bigger glory than Hanna-Barbera. Hanna-Barbera had their, you know, uh, 
all-star shows i think it was called laugh olympics or something like that where they brought everybody together for a, the big hanna barbera anniversary uh, celebration um and that was cool to see you had little spinoffs every now and then you even had bill hanna and joseph barbera appearing in cartoons as themselves in the shows which is pretty unique and uh may their may god rest their souls pray for the family uh man they're missed bro so many great cartoons that will outlast a century and more their greatest achievement would have to or the greatest show would have to be in my opinion would have to be tom and jerry tom and jerry won what like seven emmys or i mean seven academy awards eight academy awards i know they were in the 1940s but if Tom and Jerry re-released today in that same format, the 1940s, it would win Academy Awards today, in my opinion. It is just such a great cartoon, such a great uh, cat and mouse type show. I mean, man, you can't, it's still funny to this day, Tom and Jerry. You know, my papa loved Tom and Jerry. He said Tom and Jerry was his favorite show growing up. Me and him used to watch all the time. And, uh, man, it was fun, man. Um, yeah, it was, it, it'd be funny too, cause it's like, it's all about, and they, and they said, it, they even said it, it was like, the reason why we made these shows for, for people to laugh, you know, and they really made it for people to laugh, man, cause they, they made it fun, and they made it really fun and funny, man, and I really appreciate their work, uh, you just, you can't really put it into words, man. But uh, I'm going to end it on that. Happy 65th anniversary, Hanna-Barbera. Thank you for many, many memories. Love you. Bye.